will be pleading guilty to selling parts of an endangered species for medicinal purposes. Yeah, but her lawyer says it's only because she couldn't afford to fight the government. Dan Tilkin joined us looking into this unusual case. Dan? You know, we're talking about the same store owner in a different case last year who was the first person to plead guilty under an Oregon law that prohibits selling shark fins. That's the fin over there that was sold. Uh, these new charges against Agnes Yu are federal over this animal called the pangolin. Now, her lawyer says an undercover agent went into Yu's store on Southeast 82nd. It's called Wing Ming Herbs and arranged to buy scales from a pangolin. Her lawyer told me the agent claimed his wife was having problems nursing the baby, so you order the illegal animal product, which is a remedy in her native China. Well, that was back in 2017. Her lawyer says the government still cannot prove it's in fact pangolin. You know, it's not like the feds intercepted a shipment of five tons of pangolin scales. Uh, they went to these people's store and tried to induce her to, to commit this crime with a very sympathetic story that they knew would appeal to an immigrant like her from Asia. So he says it would have cost tens of thousands of dollars to fight back. So Agnes Yu will plead guilty next month to a misdemeanor and pay a $5,000 federal fine. In the state's shark fin case, uh, she was fined $1,000, which also took more than two years to resolve. I mean, such an unusual case, Dan, but it sounds like it's very complicated and extremely frustrating. And one of the things he said that there's only one lab in the entire country that can do the DNA analysis you know, for these animals. Wow. He also says while nobody wants animals to be, you know, endangered species to be targeted in, in for their parts, he says it would, really would have been nice if maybe they had gone into his clients and said, hey, uh, I know you sell medicines, herbal medicines. Here's a list of things that you should not be selling and educated them instead of sending secret agents in there to then ask them to go find these things. I see. Mm, right. All right.